getting the workload that Joe Farragelli wanted, and he's responding. Look at 54, Bercheval outside. He cuts back in. He goes up in the air right there and gets that foot knocked off from under, but he lands in the Benjamin. Nick Benjamin. I'm sorry. That's right. Steve Benjamin's a defensive back. I get it right. Nick Benjamin went out there. Second and 18. The Eskimos backed up to their own 50-yard line now. Ham has time. Then he quickly did. Pierre Bercheval, the injured Edmonton Eskimo lineman. And it appeared like Blake Dermott, he was suffering from a cramp in the leg. And does that mean that John Mandarich has now gone into the ball game? I think Eskimos have 116 remaining in which to put the ball in the end zone. Half flips it over. How much time he's going to sprint? No, he isn't. The Eskimos had to make an adjustment in their roster late last night. Brian Walling was slated to play today. He was scratchers who lead the game, 3-0, 7.53 remaining in this opening quarter. And forced to See, here comes the rush. He dances away from it, looks downfield, right over top the linebackers. In the CFL. To the right. And off to Marshall, and he fights his way. In pretty good shape. Enjoy the game as best you can, given you're not playing in it. Don? Thank you very much. Turned his spot on the roster just with that. Bam, dumps it off. Puts it in. See, they're coming again. Only four men. Kent Warnick shoving back, and then he gets some help. Pierre Vercheval comes from that left guard position. Don, there was an issue this past week in the CFL, which we'll talk about in a minute, as Walling has stopped for a loss involving second and ten. Eskimos at their 45. Ham sprints left to get away from that pressure. Romel Andrews keeps him inside. First and ten. Eskimos at the 26 of Hamilton. Ham. He'll take off around the corner. Stephen Jordan giving chase and Romel Andrews. At center, number 60 returns. And if you wonder why there were no Eskimos near Cameron on that bad snap, they were setting up a return, so they were all blocked. That's what he does. That's why he has a lot of success, too, other than he's 230 pounds. That's right, and when he turns his body, all he's doing is, of course, without Reggie Taylor, and he's been out for the last five or six weeks, their dynamic little running back. This is a hurt Edmonton team. Tom Richard been out all year, ran 41 yards total offense in this quarter compared to zero for the Eskimos. Ham in trouble as he lays it out for Craig Ellis. And Ellis more than halfway to a first down. Trace from the BC line and then Tracy Ham just lobs it up the air. Vershaval out in front. The BC Lions do a pretty good job to just hold that to eight yards. The Edmonton Eskimos and Tracy Ham did a great job tonight directing that offense. All right, let's go down to Peter Watts. There's a crowd. 